Hello, this is LOD Wise. Today we are doing a review for Fallout Shelter. Now, this has just hit PCs just today. Um, it's pretty nice, actually. It's almost exactly the same as we have in the handheld devices. Now, um, there's a few settings here, not many. What you know, what we do, kind of thing. But uh, there are a few things I don't like about this, and then there's, of course, things I do like. Uh, there'd be one thing where I would love to be able to see your. Uh, little vaults being imprinted from your phones into this game that'd be nice too just to be able to see um, of course you can't do that but uh, there will be also a few things where the screen does not go in full screen it just kind of sits there in half windowed mode and you just basically bring it full screen from there that's something I don't like I'd rather have the uh, screen be full at all times um, it's not bad. Honestly, it looks really good. Everything's still like it was in the uh, handheld devices. Um, now there is um, it's still microtransactions, which is okay. I mean, hell, it's free. You can't really complain too damn much. Uh, you still have all of these in here, like you did on the handheld, which is per which is pretty cool actually. You actually can expand. They don't, they're not just going to stick on a PC and let it die. I mean, I would love. To be able to see this thing on Steam, hell, I'd pay five bucks for it. Why not? It's a pretty cool game. It's well worth it. I mean, you can still build everything like you did before. Um, you can actually um, see build everything like you did before. Everything functions like it was supposed to, and it doesn't look clunky either. You have seen some where there is um, you they bring it over to PC, and it just looks like shit. I mean, you also see that problem with. Um, some of the consoles being uh, being ported to the PC, and they have those weird wonky ass controls. Well, this one really doesn't have that. It is still point and click. This is amazing. I'm really happy I see this thing come in because I've been wanting to play this damn thing in the PC version ever since the thing even came out. Just because when it first rolled out, like you, everybody remembers, it was pretty pretty clunky. I mean, it was crashing on everybody all the time and a lot of people were having problems with it and whatnot but uh, this game is pretty pretty damn cool uh, what we're going to do next is actually I would like to make some uh, let's plays and we can start building onto the cities and uh, you know, basically go from there. Now this one is just going to be kind of a, re a review and it's worth it. Definitely go get it. Why the hell not? I mean like I said it's a free game to play and you can actually sit there and have some fun with the damn thing. But like I said, I would just, we really would like to be able to see you take your phone vaults and add them into this game. Because of all of that, I know not me, but I know a lot of people were spending a lot of money on this thing. And it would be awesome that way they would actually feel that they would be getting something out of it. I mean, you spent, you know, 50, 60 bucks in this game and you can only play on your phone. I mean, that's just... I understand it happens a lot on those microtransactions in the phones and stuff like that, but you know it'd be nice to be able to expand your vault and stuff like that. Like I said, this thing is pretty much same controls. You can zoom in, zoom out, and all kinds of stuff. So I mean, like I said, there are a few things here and there, but nothing really game breaking. I mean, nothing is just damage where they can't um, play. So, you just click and drag. Oops. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we have to build onto here. So, this is build. What the hell? So, there we go. There we go. So, uh, that's honestly where we're going to be going. I mean, like I said, next time I'd like to do some uh, playing and uh, going that way and actually feed my people, apparently, more to starve them. But, uh,. You know, honestly, um, when you come in to playing on the handheld device, you see the graphics are really cool. I mean, they really look 3D. You can still honestly kind of get that same type of look for the PC. The graphics are awesome. I love them. I like this type of art. I mean, graphics do not make a game. But this one, definitely pretty damn cool. Oh, here we go. Let's open this sucker up. But uh, the audio sounds great. Good. I need weapons. Wait, all right, well, I mean, definitely needed that, but, uh, yeah, like I said, the, the audio, the graphics, everything looks really good, it's very smooth, I mean, it's, there is no twitchy, like, we already be locking up where you're trying to move your mouse kind of thing, so, no, that works really great, 
and um, the only thing is that the Bethesda.net website's not working. I don't understand that part. But uh, hopefully they get that thing working and up and running, and that way people can start getting into this game, expanding their vaults, you know, and actually be able to play and share and whatnot. So, but uh, definitely, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, leave your comments. I'm, I read them, but uh, I'll catch you guys next time.